So in this video, I'm going to install Linux Endeavor operating system in a Dell desktop computer. So this is the Endeavor website. So I'm going to choose a download mirror list. I'm going to scroll down. I'm going to choose in the North America section. I'm in the USA. So I'll download the ISO file. I'll click on download and it's downloading here. So the size of the ISO file is 2.4 gigs. So I'm going to be using Rufus to create a bootable USB drive for Endeavor. And this is the EXE file. You want to click on that and download it. I already downloaded that file. So I'm going to open Rufus here. So the size of the USB is 16 gigabytes. I'm going to click select. So I'm going to select the Endeavor ISO file. Click open. Click start. Click OK. Click OK again. And it is creating the bootable USB drive. So it's complete. The USB drive was created. So I'm going to take this USB drive and boot up the Dell computer. So I booted into the Dell BIOS. And I want to make sure that secure boot is disabled. Secure boot is disabled. So I'm going to select the USB drive to boot up from. I'll hit enter. So I have some options here to choose from. Endeavor OS x 64 that's the default. And the next option is Endeavor x 64 with NVIDIA support. So I'm going to choose the default, the first option. I'll hit enter. So here I have to select a driver for the Ethernet card. I'm going to click on the default. OK, I get this welcome page. There are two sections, install and general info. So here is where I can update uh, the mirror sites. I'll click on that. So here I can choose multiple mirror locations. So right now only one mirror location is selected, which is United States. I can also check worldwide. And you can check any other mirror locations. I'm going to click OK. You're going to get this message. That's fine. Click Save. There's also Partition Manager. And you can change the display resolution here. I'm just going to start the installer. So here you have to choose the installation method, either online or offline. So the online method lets you choose your desktop. Internet connection is required. And after install, the system is up to date. The offline option method gives you the KDE desktop and internet connection is not needed. But after installation, you will have to update the operating system. So the Dell computer that I'm using is connected to the internet. I'm going to click online. So this is the installer page. So the first page is welcome. And here I have to choose the language. There's a drop down tab here. And you can select whatever language you would like. I'm going to click next. So on the location page, it already detected where I'm located. The zone is New York. The region is US. And you can choose whatever country and whatever zone or city. I'm going to click next. So this is the keyboard settings. I'm going to leave it as English. Click next. So here is where you have to choose your desktop environment. And here's the list. So you can also select no desktop. I'm going to select Plasma KDE. I'll click next. Now this is the packages page. And here you can choose whatever package you would like. You can also uncheck packages that you don't want. There's an arrow here. You just have to click on it. And there are more options here. I'm going to select printing support also. I'm going to check that. I'm going to click next. So here I have to choose a bootloader. And the default is system boot. I'm going to choose grub bootloader. I'm going to switch this on. Click next. So here are the petitions and here you have to choose what storage device you would like to install the Endeavor OS. I only have one hard drive in this computer and it's a 256 gigabytes in size. And yeah, a few options here. Install alongside, replace the petition, erase the entire disk or manual petitioning. I'm going to erase the entire disk. I'll check this. And there's no swap. There's a drop-down tab. You can choose any one of these. I'm going to leave it as default. 
no swap. So this is the file system. Extended for is the default. There's a drop down term and there's another option here, TTRFS. I'm going to leave it as extended for. I'll click next. So here is where you have to create a user. It says, what's your full name? I'm going to type a name, John, and the name of the user I would like to use to log in. I'll leave it as John. So here you can leave this as default or you can type a name for the computer. I'm going to type Dell. I'll type a password, retype password, and there are two options here. Log in automatically without asking for the password or use the same password for the administrator account. I'm going to leave this one check. Use the same password for the administrator account. Click next. So this is a summary of all the settings. I'll click install. Click install now. And it's installing. So, okay, I get an error message here, and this is the package manager error. And this is the error message. The package manager could not make changes to the install system. The command pre pacman pre returned error code one. And it says, Would you like to paste the install log to the web? So, this is the error message I get when I select KDE Plasma Desktop Environment. So, it says, Would you like to paste the install? log to the web. I'm going to say yes. And it says installation failed. So it gives me a URL link where I can go to to check the log file. And the link is copied to the clipboard. So I'm going to click OK. And I'm going to check the error message by going to this link. So to check for the errors, I'm going to do Control F and type error. So these are the errors I've been getting. It says K gamma five, the target not found. So this should be in the package and I have to uncheck this K gamma five. So this K gamma five is listed under the KDE plasma package. So I restarted the installation again and this will be under the KDE desktop package. So this is it here. K gamma 5. I'm going to uncheck it. Now, this is only happening when I select the KDE Plasma desktop environment. So I'm going to click next. So under bootloader, I'm going to select the Grub bootloader. Click next. So the Dell hard drive is selected, 256 gigabytes. And here I'm going to choose erase entire disk. I'm going to leave it as no swap. There's a drop down tab here. And the file system, I'm going to leave it as extended for. There's also a checkbox here if you would like to encrypt the system. I'm going to leave it on check. Click next. I'm going to type a name. I'm going to name this computer Dell. I'll type a password. I'm going to retype the password. I'm going to leave the second option check. Click next. This is a summary of all the settings. I'll click install, click install now, and it's installing. So it says it's all done. Installation is finished. Endeavor Galileo has been installed in this computer. So I'm gonna select restart now. I'm gonna click done, and I'm gonna remove the USB drive. Okay, I get the login screen. I'm gonna type the password. So I get this welcome box. I can update the system. There's package cleanup configuration. There's assistant. There's tips. And here you can add more apps. I'm going to click this. Don't show anymore. So this is Endeavor operating system. So on the taskbar, this is the application launcher. Yes, favorites. So Firefox is installed by default. There's all applications. There's development, there's graphics, this is internet, there's multimedia, there's office, and this is a document viewer, there's settings, there's system, this is a console terminal, menu editor, the system monitor is here also, there's utilities, this is another text editor, keywrite, and I can also switch and I can also adjust this just by dragging it with the mouse. So I'm going to click on the file manager folder. And these are the basic folders that are in there. And this can also be zoomed. This is the console terminal. So on the right side, 
This is the microphone and speaker network icon. And this is the status and notifications. I'll click on the time. So I right click the desktop and I have all these options. Configure desktop on wallpaper. Configure display settings. I can create a new folder. I can add widgets. There's a whole list of widgets here. I can also search for widgets here. Here is an add panel in the application menu bar, default panel and empty panel. And I can enter edit mode. So I'm going to configure desktop on wallpaper. Under wallpaper type, I can choose any one of these. I can change the background color here. This is the mouse actions setting. I'll click OK. I'm going to remove this system monitor app. So if I want to add more apps, for example, LibreOffice, I just have to click on the All Applications icon here on the taskbar. Select System. Click on Welcome. And I can click on Add More Apps. And I'll select Choose Popular Apps to Install. I have a whole list here. So I'm going to select Office. I'm going to select LibreOffice. Fresh. Click Install Now. Type the password. So LibreOffice is installing. So I'll search for it here. And here it is. LibreOffice. I'll click on LibreOffice Writer. So I'm going to go to System Settings. Click on System Settings. And on the left side, I have all these different settings. And they are listed by categories. So I'll click on Appearance. I'll choose Breeze Twilight. Click on Application Style, click Apply. This is the Plasma Style. Colors, I can make adjustments here. Window Decorations, Fonts, Icons, Cursors, Font Management, Splash Screen. This is the Workspace Behavior and I can make adjustments here. This is a startup and shutdown. I can make changes here. I can choose whichever one. There's search. And under personalizations, there are notifications. I can make changes here. I can add more users. I can add more applications. These are the network configurations. There's also Bluetooth. So if I want to update the operating system, I just have to click on Application Launcher, select System, and click on Welcome. And I can make the changes here, and I can update the system here. So in this video, I installed Endeavor Operating System with the KDE Plasma desktop environment. So I want to thank you for watching, and I want to thank you for subscribing.